just started running yet, but um, he had a couple bids to go do this morning, so it's noon now. He just he got here about a half hour ago. I think he's running around actually with the property owner chatting about different things. So I am currently, if you guys recall, we had a huge borrow pit right here that was full of a bunch of shit. I am in the process of kind of covering that over um, and then I'm going to dig a new cell about where I'm sitting, but I need to sit over there in order to do it. And uh, there are some stumps and trash and garbage that we want to kind of get covered over so that they were not attracting unwanted attention. Um, so that is what I'm doing currently, is filling all this in. And it has been just an exciting, joyous day all the way around.
like so many guys do and slam into the pile and just tweak the shit out of the stick pin, so. Just be smart. Treat your machine well. swing where you can actually see and maybe get the stick out of the way would you appreciate that uh, over there so Rick is gonna mulch that you could just see the little pile of, of uh, stumps and stuff that I left for him yesterday to grind up he's gonna hit those as soon as he gets back and uh, get those out of my way and then we'll start ferrying those over so I will turn the camera back on when we get to that point and maybe that would actually be a really good time to do a uh, hyperlapse with the drone I like it I like it damn it all right so that's the plan. Catch you guys in a bit. in the room. 
ball. Thank <laughs> you. 
here. That's what I get. That's a stone. That's what I keep rotating on that's rough on those tracks. So this is a great example of what I talk about when I say pay attention to your machine. Um, don't just plow through stuff. So you could, I'm sure on camera, feel how hard we pivoted on that spot. Obviously having the entire weight of the machine pivot on one spot on the undercarriage on something hard like a stump is really not good for the machine. So, yes, this is a rental, but still, take two minutes to fix the situation to take care of the machine. It's important to take care of the equipment.
concrete blocking them from falling. Oh, that's just fantastic. <laughs> that's awesome. All right. There. I will make you do what I want you to do. All right, this is uh, confession time. This is actually my second attempt at making an outro because as soon as I hit the record button on my last one, my phone rang not once, but twice and totally threw me off and it was a terrible outro. So we're gonna act like this is my first time doing this today. So <laughs> anyway, here's the outro. So we had a really productive day. Um, man, it looks like a totally different site. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, as always, it feels like I'd be breaking tradition at this point if I didn't send you out with an, with a drone video. But from the drone video, you're gonna see this site is 100% different than even what it was this morning. Um, as you can see, we've gotten all of the. This is our last remaining um, timber that was tucked way back up in that corner over there. Let me hold this a little different so that it's a little easier. There we go. Um, so that is going to get moved into the big pile here for the chipper in the morning. Uh, you can see all of our big piles up here. We went ahead and leveled those out simply because we didn't have room to move the, the timber around basically. So uh, we went ahead, the two of us, he and the skid, me and the hoe, leveled all that out and got it reasonable so we can get the chipper in here and everything. And then we just catted back and forth with the with the timber stacking it all up. So that made a huge difference getting those big piles out of there. Uh, we'll regrade all of this when the dozer comes and actually put a real grade on it. But uh, for now it's, you know, it's completely changed the look of things. So tomorrow the plan is, uh, we're gonna set that chipper up probably somewhere right in here. And he's gonna go to town starting first thing in the morning. And this pile will all be over here, which means that I will spend the first part of the morning at least, uh, kind of clearing out this back corner. And you can see, let me walk over here so that you can see. I really don't know what I'm doing with my hands with the camera tonight. I don't know why I'm struggling with these outros so bad. Uh, just, ooh, ooh. Anyway, um, as you can see, this corner is not nearly as bad as the rest of the site has been. Uh, I actually started digging through a little bit of this and as junky as it looks, uh, relatively speaking, there's not that much garbage in there. So I think maybe one more borrow pit and we will have it knocked out. And that means the rest of the day I got, I basically get to help feed the chipper. So I'm gonna basically uh, take the thumb on the hoe and just kind of hand him stuff and get it closer to where he can reach it with a grapple. At least that's my guess as to what tomorrow will bring. So anyway, uh, yeah, like I said, we'll send you guys out with drone footage because that's what we do every time, isn't it? So we'll catch you guys tomorrow on Big Chipper Day. You guys have a good one.